Hello, my name is Shreya Mehrotra and in this quick video, I will walk through downloading and setting up the open source tools and setting up the path variables for the open source tools for software development on the NEOS 5M processor. This is the second video in the getting started with NEOS 5M processor video series. Let's take a look at the hardware and software requirements to build a NEOS 5M processor system. With the initial release of NEOS 5M, Supported devices include Cyclone 10GX, ARIA 10, Stratix 10, and the Agilex FPGA devices. The NEOS 5M processor is available in Quartus Prime Pro Edition 21.3 or later versions. The open source tools like the GNU RISC V, GCC Toolchain, the CMake, XPAC Windows Build Tools, and Eclipse CC++ development tooling for software development on NEOS 5 processor need to be set up separately. You only need the XPAC Windows build tools if using a Windows platform. Instructions to download and set up the open source tools are provided in the NEOS 5 Quick Start User Guide. Go to the Software Design Flow section and the links can be found under the Related Information section. Download the respective tools as highlighted in the video. Next, you can download the Eclipse Embedded CDT if you want to use the GUI to build a NEOS 5M application. Go to the link shown in the user guide, which will take you to the Rocket Board's NEOS 5 Eclipse setup page. There, you will find the link to download Eclipse Embedded CDT and instructions to set up the workspace. Once you have downloaded and extracted the tools, the next step is to set up the environment variable path to include the installed tools into the design flow. You can set up the paths using command line or Eclipse embedded CDT. The instructions for both are provided in the NEOS 5 Quick Start User Guide. In this video, I will set up the environment variables using the Windows Environment Variable Graphical User Interface. For this, right click on the Windows icon and click Systems. Search for environment variables and the dialog opens. Click on environment variables and go to path under system variables. Here you can add the path to include the install tools into the design. You can now begin your software development on the NEOS 5M processor. To learn more about the hardware and software application development on NEOS 5M, Please watch videos part 1 and part 3 that talk about NEOS 5M processor in Platform Designer and running a Hello World application on NEOS 5. For technical details, please read the NEOS 5 Quick Start User Guide and you can also refer to the NEOS 5 Eclipse setup on rocketboards.org. Please contact your sales representatives for support.